What's up everyone, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the camera review of Redmi 3S Prime. This review applies both to the Redmi 3S and the 3S Prime as both come with the same cameras and have the same performance. Before we start anything, I have to say I was more than impressed with the camera performance. It's definitely out of the 9K phones league. Actually, I even felt it did better job compared to the phones of 15,000 rupees range. So anyway, coming back to our review. Just like all the Redmi phones, even this Redmi 3S doesn't have accurate color reproduction. But I have to say, the colors look very pleasing. Some images look way too saturated, but that's in very rare situations. And that's pretty much manageable. Sharpness is one of the other best things about this camera. It definitely doesn't over sharpen the images just like other Mi phones did in the beginning. Dynamic range is an impressive one. Not that it draws my attention, but it manages the dynamic range very well. It exposes a lot of areas, but I guess that's okay for the price. You can definitely find it to be better than many other phones in the same price segment. Coming to focusing speeds and capturing speeds, it has huge problem with focusing macro shots. You cannot get the right focus unless the object is still. And only after 10 to 15 attempts, you might get it right. I guess you have to be more than just patient for it. Once the object is focused, then it won't take a lot of time to take pictures. Capturing speeds are pretty good. Coming to selfies, selfies are again not that impressive, but one of the best in its price segment. They are pretty wide carries a lot of details, handles the dynamic range like a boss and it's always very quick. And on the other hand, it also has the problems with overexposing in few areas but only in very few situations. In low light conditions, you can't expect the best performance in this price segment but it definitely stands up to your expectations. I was really surprised with the color management. Other phones would turn orange under street light but Redmi maintained almost white color tones which also resulted in fading out other colors. But it's really awesome to have white tones in low light. You definitely need steady hands to take good pictures but once you take a good picture, the results are worth the patience. Even selfies turned out to be better than expected. While recording video, the color reproduction stands to be the same as images, but you can literally see the color temperature shifting up and down, which is a huge problem. Lack of optical image stabilization makes the video shaky, so make sure you have steady hands while recording video. Focusing speed stands the same as stated above. Video recorded using the front facing camera is not so impressive. So no optical image stabilization and the dynamic range and the exposure seems to be bad too. Color reproduction is good in few situations but you definitely don't want to record in direct sunlight. Finally this is one of the best cameras for the price and even more than the price. I would definitely suggest you to buy this phone specifically for the camera in this price range. By the way I know it's too much to ask for optical image stabilization. I'm not asking for it, I'm just saying it doesn't have it. So that's pretty much it guys, this is the review of Redmi 3S and the 3S Prime. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you like this video hit that like button and stay tuned to us by subscribing to our channel. 
I'll catch up with you in my next video. Until then, have a nice day.